So you're saying you're saying that if an investigation finds out that he or she said the N word, that she can still stay on as a teacher? That's possible? Yes. yes, that's that's very possible, yes. Now, uh, the teacher will not be fired. I, what can happen is um, your child could be, if, if you like, your child could be transferred to another class. We have, we have a teacher that just recently was like, you nigger! <laughs> He's been moved down to who? Another student. To a student. And the, the teacher has been demoted, but it's still teacher. Are you Alyssa Ploshnik? What do you have to say about uh, students being called the N word uh, in your school district? Do you, have you ever referred to a student as the N word, or has anybody you know referred to a student as the N word in Passaic? Has anybody ever used the N-word against a student in your school district? Currently, I'm in the car and Alyssa Ploshnik is trailing behind me. She's following me in her car on Route 80. I tried to lose her, apparently trying to follow me home. Yes. Good afternoon, Dr. Everett speaking. Yes, Dr. Everett, how are you doing today? Okay, and you? I have, I have a special needs child that goes to um, that goes to school three over there, and uh, my son came home one day and told me that he was called the N word by one of his teachers. And I, I honestly just need to know what your policy is regarding uh, students being called the N word or teachers. No, no, that that, that's definitely unacceptable. It's definitely unacceptable. What is your policy regarding teachers that call black it, it, kids the word? It's nigger? totally, it's totally unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable. Okay, and, so are they going to uh, be allowed to keep their job and keep teaching the same children they keep calling? Well, them well, I'm not. I'm not going to say that the teacher would be fired immediately, sir. Um, that's not usually how it works. What what usually happens is um, a due process. We'll call. We'll call this. Uh, we'll call the teacher in, have a conference, and then decide on what the disciplinary measures will be. Uh, but certainly, certainly, if the expectation is that he or she is going to be fired immediately uh, with the contractual and everything stipulations. No, we won't be able to do that. Okay, to, so you're saying you're saying that if an investigation finds out that he or she said the N-word, that she can still stay on as a teacher? That's possible? Yes, yes that's, that's very possible, yes. Uh, we cannot just walk in and fire a, a tenured teacher, a tenured teacher. We can take certain disciplinary measures. Which disciplinary measures could could be suspension? It could be various forms. But if you're thinking that um, Monday this teacher will not be in front of a classroom, no, that's not going to happen, sir. Sir, has this ever happened before? Has 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 teacher ever used unprofessional be, uh, language before? Yes. Has the teacher ever been fired for that? No, sir. No. no sir. Has the not, teacher not been? Just... Not just specifically. Sir, sir, I don't, like, I don't want to go back and forth with you because you only want to hear Think one thing, sir. On my child, sir. You want to hear one thing that the teacher is going to be fired. Now, uh, the teacher will not be fired. I, what can happen is um, your child could be, if if you like, your child could be transferred to another class. Um, a tenured teacher, but a tenured teacher, it's going to take. Um, um, a, 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 months, uh, probably at least a year to remove a tenured teacher, at least a year, a tenured teacher from the classroom. Okay, so my, my, and, the, and, if you, and, and again, you don't have to take my word for it. You could call the county superintendent. You could call, look, go online to the state department and look at the state regulations under tenured teachers. Just in case this teacher does have a mindset of retaliation for what my child has reported was said to him, being, being the, the N word nigger being used towards him. Is there no way that you can just quietly move my child before all this begins? Because I don't want him targeted. Yes, can yes, we can remove the child, certainly. Do you want to think about it, sir, over the weekend? Okay, you know what? Here's 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 all I want to do. Okay, you can go ahead and here's what I would love for you to be able to do if you can just go ahead and do this. All right? Just go ahead and move him out and get him out of the situation quietly. You can protect your teacher all you want. You can 
you know, reprimand them, you know, on the side or whatever, but keep it quiet. It doesn't matter, you know, go ahead and do that. But I want my child out of the situation where there's a teacher calling him the N-word. Very good. And what's your child's you name? Don't, you, don't, you don't have to reprimand the teacher. Just move my child out of there quietly. Is that okay? That's Nobody not resolved. Okay, that's sure. That's not resolving the problem, though. But, but is that um, okay, though? That's okay. Cause, I mean, I don't, okay, because I don't want any more trouble for my child. So since that's okay, nobody's going to know. And we can All right, just... before, before, before I say yes to this, can I look? Can you give me time to at least research to see what, how many, uh, the size of the other class? I don't want to say yes, and then I find out that, you know, the other class has 30 students in it or something. Uh -uh. So can you get, can you give can we take care of this on Monday, sir? So I'm able to. Okay, well, so just just go ahead and find out the size of the class, and uh, we can resolve this with nobody knowing. Okay.